Now at this juncture, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Toyoda uh, to the stage. <coughs> Mr. Toyoda, please. Thank you very much for sharing this stage with me. Thank you very much for exciting uh, speech. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Akio Toyoda. Looking back, I first met Son San about 20 years ago when the internet was being introduced across Japan. At the time, I was a section manager and EVP Tomoyama was an assistant manager. We had overcome initial reluctance inside Toyota to set up Gazoo.com from scratch. This was a new website that allowed people to discuss the sale of used cars via the internet at Toyota dealers all over the country. We were about to start traveling around Japan with the aim of expanding the site to cover new cars. Sonsan then asked the Toyota sales team and the management at the time about introducing a proper net dealer system at our dealers in Japan. This was an idea that had come from the United States. We had just expended all our energy on setting up Gazoo, so the idea was impossible to accept. Eventually, Mr. Tomoyama and I went to see Son San to turn down his proposal. I still remember it clearly. Now we have become president and executive vice president of Toyota. However, at the time, because we were just vigorous and energetic section manager and assistant manager, I'm sure we came across as discourteous. I'm grateful to Son San for putting our discourtesy down to youthful enthusiasm. With a history like this, there have been various rumors that Toyota and SoftBank do not get along. As evidence, please search for Akio Toyoda on Yahoo. You'll find plenty of pictures of my frowning face. It's very different from Son San, who has far more pictures of him smiling. I'm going to ask for something to be done about this search algorithm. Among those of you attending or watching today, some are probably wondering why Toyota and SoftBank? As you all know, the automotive industry is facing sweeping once-in-the-century changes. <coughs> These changes have been caused by the advent of innovative new technologies called CASE for short. CASE stands for Connected, Autonomous, Shared, and Electric. And these ideas are totally changing the concept of the car, and our competitors are radically changing the rules of competition in the market. I think that cars through data will connect us to our cities and by connecting people to all types of services to support their lifestyles will become a part of our society's system. In January, I spoke at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in the United States about how Toyota is transforming from a company that manufactures cars into a mobility company or a company capable of providing all types of mobility-related services to society. Please watch this short video. It's a great honor for a car guy like me to be here at CES. You may not be aware that Toyota actually began as a company that built weaving looms, not cars. And it was my grandfather, Kiichiro Toyota, that decided to do what many thought impossible at the time, to go from 
building rooms to building cars. It's my goal to transition Toyota from an automobile company to a mobility company and the possibilities of what we can build in my mind are endless. I'm determined to create new ways to move and connect our customers across the country, across town, or just across the roof. Similar to the new cluster of number one strategy announced by Sonsan for the SoftBank Group, I believe that friends and allies will be increasingly important in building the mobility society of the future. Toyota's strategy to create these friends and allies has three main pillars. The first is to strengthen ties with group companies that have the same group, roots as Toyota, such as Denso and Aishin. In my own words, I have called this the home and away strategy. The home part of the name refers to the reorganization of businesses within the Toyota Group to consolidate redundant functions into more competitive home companies and the establishment of new companies within the group. And at the same time, we have to increase the number of friends and allies and create de facto standards by actively selling competitive products to companies inside and outside the group. This is the reasoning behind our strategy, but people are not moved by theories alone. Personally, I prefer actions to words, and I'd like you to watch this short video to see what I mean in action. The key characteristic of Toyota Group is that we have the same roots. That means we share the same basic business values, and it is the strength of our group. However, because it's people who run the business, it's only natural that relationships do grow weaker over time, and that you start moving in different directions even if you come from the same roots. Despite that, since the beginning, the Toyota group has had cars as a common language and a stable foundation. I believe that we will strike a report together by putting cars first, building cars that are meant to be driven, and facing up to each other honestly and with determination. Only after building that report can we feel that group is not just an organization of convenience, but a collection of friends and kindred spirits that share the same values. 
The second pillar is strengthening alliances with other automakers. We really have alliances with Subaru, Mazda, and Suzuki. However, the purposes of these alliances uh, is not uh, to expand volume through investment. In every case, we respect each other's strength in technological development, production engineering, and sales networks. The objective of these alliances is to become more competitive to help us build even better cars. For example, in September last year, Mazda, Denso, and Toyota set up a company called EVCA Spirit. Combining the strength of each of its founding members, this company is taking on the challenge of identifying new development methods. The company has uh, also accepted support from Subaru, Suzuki, uh, Daihatsu, Hino, Isuzu, and Yamaha. In my own words, I see this as a collaboration between automakers with a continued passion for building vehicles that people will love. Finally, the third pillar is strengthening alliances with new friends and allies that are providing mobility services. We have forged alliances with companies such as Uber, Grab, Didi, and Getaround. Many of these companies are valuable components of uh, Sonsan's cluster of number one strategy. We see our partnership with SoftBank as a key part of the third, point, third pillar of our ally a building strategy. When we were a company that focused only on manufacturing cars, we were unable to work with SoftBank. 20 years on, as we aim to become a mobility company, this partnership is now indispensable. We see SoftBank's strength as its ability to judge based on their foresight and ex expertise in reading the seas of the future. In contrast, our strength are the capabilities uh, of our worksite centered on the Toyota production system or ability to improve on site. And these are the capabilities to achieve both what we want to do and what we need to do in the real world. And it also refers to the ability to make continuous improvements through a spirit of getting better and better, a process of evolution that creates products that are even better than before. The car business does not end once a sales is made. In fact, uh, you might say that the car business only starts after the sale. Over 20 years, a single car will become an irreplaceable and beloved part of the lifestyle of the uh, several owners. We have a dealer network across the world, uh, whole world, and in Japan alone, including rental car stores, we have some 6,000 outlets. And over many years, this network has created bonds of trust with customers in the real world. Our advantage is that we can leverage and use this trusted network to help roll out new types of mobility services. We have many friends and allies that will continue to protect and fight for the car as an asset worthy of love. At the same time, SoftBank has many friends and allies that will continue uh, striving to create new mobility-related services and build a more enjoyable uh, mobility society. I think the partnership between our two companies will involve many of these friends and allies and will help to realize an unprecedented future mobility society. In July of this year, the founder of Toyota Motor Corporation, Kiichiro Toyoda, was induct, induct, inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame in the United States. I do not think that the recognition of uh, Kiichiro's accomplishments 80 years after the foundation of Toyota in this period of sweeping change uh, is just a co coincidence. I do not believe so. Kiichiro used to say this. When it comes to loom technology, I am confident that we uh, are the best in the world. But as far as automobiles are concerned, I didn't do anything. I didn't do a thing. It was my subordinates and those around me who did all the work. 
These words reflect Kichiro's feelings of gratitude based on his belief that automobile business is not something that one person alone can undertake. We were able to accomplish what we did only because many people came together and worked diligently. The induction of Kichiro into the Automotive Hall of Fame in the United States at this time of sweeping change felt as if he was telling us that the future cannot be created by one person alone, that it needs to be built by friends and allies sharing the same motivation. I am not the founder of Toyota. I am merely continuing what others have passed on. Over the years, the top management of Toyota have passed on the following lesson. For Japan, for the world, and for the next generation. In other words, the spirit of working for someone else other than yourself, and the spirit of working with your friends to make the future a brighter and better place. I think you can look forward to uh, the future of mobility that Toyota, SoftBank, and our friends will create together. Thank you very much.